Infinity Nerds Tour presents. Hey guys, happy 2024 and welcome back to the channel for another unboxing. I'm back with my buddy C. Lowe's. How's it going guys? Everybody, happy new year. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified of new videos. And we appreciate everybody's support, right Lily? So C. Lowe's, first video of 2024. Yeah. First actual recording, I should say, of 2024. We do have a lot of other videos, but I'm a little behind on the editing process, guys. I'm sorry, this isn't my daytime job. I wish it was. We do have something special for you. And I've already told Celos what I got, so for those of you who did like the Castlevania Anniversary Collection that we got from Limited Run Games, I went ahead and purchased the Contra version, which I did say once it came in we would unbox, so that's what I have for you here today. And here it is. With a Limited Run card, number 187 looks like the cover of the Super Nintendo. You want to take a look at that, Celos? Oh, that's pretty neat. This is from uh, Contra 3. One of my favorite games. Alien guys. Wars. So this set says on the back here, and we'll, we'll go through this. It has the Contra Arcade. It has Super Contra. Contra North American. Contra Japanese. It has Super C. Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Operation C. Contra Hard Corps. Super Probotector Alien Rebels. Mm -hmm. And Probotector, I guess the original. So it did have a lot of games. I've already purchased this on the Switch for download. I'm sure you have too. I have. And I must add that I really enjoy the gameplay, really. And by the way, for those of you that are not aware, that uh, Contra, the original NES title, came out on February 20th, 1987. That I did not know. So that is uh, quite a while back. So when I was in elementary, guys, that was the first game that I started. Like, just by thinking about it, being in that trade. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Here's here's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we'll swap it, and we'll borrow it for a couple of days, and that's how I was able to play a lot of games back then. Well, you remember I told you, uh, my father bought Contra. Yeah. But my first, like, Konami game or real Nintendo game was Castlevania. Oh, yes. So, but this one, it just went along with that whole Konami, you know, Konami had so many good games they around did. that time, so this was one of those games when I first got it, I was like, wow, this game is amazing, right? And I always thought the cover looked more like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone on the cover for some reason, right? You, you know what? On the original. Yeah, because, you know, during that time when we were growing up, um, those movies were, like, amazing. Yeah, those were two of the biggest 80s stars. My parents wouldn't allow there. me to watch them, but, I mean... Mine did. <laughs> Sorry. But like, um, you know, I just, you know, there, there were some sort of like the time of how it was with the guns. Yeah, the action movies. And, you know, sci-fi, kind of you mm -hmm. know, and so playing Contra is one of my most memorable games that um, I enjoy playing with my twin brother. And I want to know more about this box. I'm pretty sure you're excited. I'm excited. Again, this is just like the Castlevania video. I don't remember what's in here, and I probably should have did my homework before we came and started recording. Yeah. But I guess we're just going to have to shoot from the hip <laughs> and see how this goes. So we're going to go ahead and start unboxing this and see what's inside. All right. Can't wait to check it out. I mean, so far, the box itself looks great, right? Yes. So let's see what we have in here. There we go. We'll start here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks like we're going to have to just take one piece at a time. Let's see what we have in here. This feels like it has some weight to it. Okay, so the different power-ups. Yes. That float. Yes. But it's like the uh, laser gun mm -hmm. and the spread. The spread gun, gun the machine gun. Uh -huh. The uh, rapid. The, the fire. The fire one was like fireballs. Yes. That went into a circle. Yes. Yeah. So that's one of these. That's awesome, guys. What do you think, guys? I think that's actually pretty cool. We'll Is it heavy though? Yeah, it's heavy. Check it out. Wow. So we'll set that down there. Looks like we have a, a tin case. So I'll hold this guy up for you guys so you can see the front. And then we'll go over to the back. And then let's see what the inside... The inside just nothing crazy. But it is a cool tin case. 
I agree. So we'll put that here. Start stacking some of this stuff up here. It looks like this is a... Let's see what we have here. Looks like some kind of cool acrylic stand. Oh, with the characters. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take these out, I guess. Which one's Lance? This is Lance. Okay. It has a cool little uh, contra base here that says uh, like 35 years, right? Okay. 35th anniversary. And then there's Bill. And then this one is Lance. Okay. I'm just putting this together real quick so you can see it. They do have pr uh, protective plastic. I don't know if you can see that uh, over them, but I'm probably going to put these back in the box. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually display those just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like we also have, oh, keychain. keychains of Bill and Lance. That is actually pretty cool. I do like that. Is that the Contra version or the Super Nintendo no, version? No, it's the Contra version. Okay. That's pretty neat. Because I got vibes here from, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at right now. Look at that. Okay. We have a keychain there of Lance, and then this one is Bill. Me and my brother. You know what? I should give one of these to my brother. We always said we were the red and the blue guy, right? That's right. right. Keep one on my keychain. He can keep one on his. We also have some pins, and these pins look like power-ups. Contra 3. So, or here's a spread gun. And then, uh, this is the one that, uh, I can't remember. Like a shield. Like it's a, a shield, but I can't remember what it was actually called. So the one thing I'll, I'll notice right off the bat is that this one has a lot more stuff in here than uh, some of the past ones, which I know a lot of guys are like, oh wow, you spent you know this much money on a bunch of paper. That's right. right. Uh, this one actually has a lot more physical items, it seems. Um, this, oh, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you all this, but it's like a lenticular photo. That is actually really neat, man. I like that. If you guys can see that, and that is from uh, Contra 3, mm -hmm. Alien Wars. That actually looks pretty neat. It's almost like 3D, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this in the back here, guys, so you can see that. Looks like we have a very reminiscent of the old NES uh, box art. We have the Contra Collection, which shows all the games on the back, but it's you know it has a, its own artwork on the front, which that's really cool as well. Now, if I say really cool a lot, I'm sorry, but if it's cool, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> that's just how I am. There is the history of Contra. In this book, I know the game comes with a digital copy of this, so it's kind of cool to have the hard copy uh, book compared to the digital copy. The same thing with the Castlevania Collection. Yeah nice to actually have a physical copy versus a digital copy oh sorry there's a slip case uh, for this as well to go around that once you actually mold that where it's supposed to be and uh, if you want to put it in one of these as well you can do that I always like how they have these dust leaves uh, and this one actually feels like a dust leaf yeah versus feels like, like the a paper copy one, yeah actually. so that's pretty pretty neat and then we have this shell, now this shell is for Genesis, right? It's a lot larger. I did notice that a lot of times when they do these, like the NES copy will stay about the NES size, right? Like yeah. the, of the original box. The Genesis copy always comes in like a very large case, which is a lot larger. Streets of Rage 4 yeah. came in a big box like this. And it's cool, don't get me wrong. It's just a little, for a clamshell, that's pretty big. Yeah. We'll open this and see what's in here. And you know what, guys? Throughout the years, I have been playing the Contra series, and I'm in awe from each individual game how the graphics are much improved, much harder. Like, I don't even think it has it on the PS2. No. But no, that was awesome, that. though. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough game. Yeah. That is a very tough game. So, you know, from that. Contra and then Super C and then Contra 3 and... With the anniversary, I like that they kind of stopped around, like, the Sega time frame. Yeah. Right? Because beyond that, I mean, there was, what is it, Legacy Wars or something like that? I, I can't remember if that's what it's called, but it was on the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation. Yes. Right? And it was... Mm, like a 3D version, yeah, right? Yeah, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't the best. I mean, PS2 took it back mm -hmm. a little bit. Very difficult. Better graphics. 
and then they kind of did it again I think recently on the switch and it was so so and I am looking forward to the newer one that's coming out yeah, yeah same, so, same here so that should be pretty deep um, so this is a slip case guys uh, I'll let you see the front here and the back but I will try to get like I said some photos uh, better close-up shots slip case for the outside clamshell box mm -hmm. let's see what we have in here this is probably the rest of everything so we have a CD soundtrack that has quite a bit of titles. For me, nothing beats to you, um, the, the main title from the NES when you just power on the system, it loads up, and you enter that wonderful code that we all know and love, right? What code? <laughs> what code could you mean? It looks like we have a poster. If I can try to open this without messing it up. Here you okay. go. See, Lux, you want to hold that for me? Yes. So, this is the artwork. Uh, that they made specifically for the anniversary collection. It actually looks really impressive. Look at how they drew. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive though. I mean, it, it looks very reminiscent of the old school artwork, you know? Yes. And, um, but it's a different way. And then this, oh, okay. obviously, is the Alien Wars artwork, which, I, I mean, that's still one of my favorite games out of the series. Mm -hmm. I just remembered, um, just holding yes. his hand, right, guys? With the, uh, what, F-14s uh, or whatever it, it was? It was like missiles, remember? <laughs> it was crazy stuff. Okay, it looks like in here there is a, um, it's just a box really inside. Okay. Um, just to hold it's the empty. game. It's just an empty. It's empty. It's empty. It has uh, some holders on the side. And then obviously the game itself for the Switch. I'm pretty sure there's probably a manual in here, just like there has been for these, uh, these games and I love that because I miss I miss the whole presentation you know with the NES I agree where you open up the game and it'd be a, you know the game and the manual and the dust leaves so I always thought that was really cool look at that so there is a uh, a manual and there's your game it's so funny though because these are so tiny yeah you know the manuals oh but it has every game in here okay so even from the original Contra through the remaining, you know. It has like the, you know, the Japanese and the American. So, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to look at that. And then on the inside also is, um, if you saw when I opened it up, there is a reversible uh, cover. So you could reverse this around uh, to a different cover. That looks kind of like that poster. Uh, it has the, the different artwork. So it's pretty neat. I like this. Oh my gosh, Contra 3, remember? First stage and the turtle. Yes. Yeah, that was, that's a great um, stage. Guys, what did you think about that in the past? Because I was like, this is weird. You think so? Yes. So I'm, at, I'm, I'm actually going to go over that now. Okay, so you can see everything that was here. The only thing I didn't include was something, I don't remember if it was supposed to come with this or if it was just separate, but there is a keychain I have that just has the Contra logo. I didn't bring that here for that. Okay. The only reason I didn't is because, you know, it already has some keychains that came with it. So with this set, I believe it was the same price as the Castlevania Anniversary Collection, which I think was like 174 mm -hmm. Is that what it was? I can't, I, I'm sorry, guys, I can't remember. But it was kind of a high price. Now, looking at what we got, though, there's not a whole lot of paper going on like the last one. I mean, there is the book, these little you know cases that are reminiscent of the original NES, and then the poster. The rest of it seems more like physical, <clears throat> yeah. right? And I think that's pretty cool with the lenticular photo, the little stands, the the pins. I'm not a pin guy, but the pins are pretty cool. The keychains I'll definitely use, and then that heavy power up. It's like they express a lot of love of adding all these different accessories for the true fan to enjoy. Which I will. And just to remember what the games were in the past, how they were amazing to play, it was fun, it was joyful. Yeah, all the games that are included, I mean, well, I mean, we can go through those. Sure. We've gone through some of these before, I mean, but the, okay, so the Contra Arcade. I had never played that before until so much later. I think it was like Xbox 360 days. Yeah. You know, when they started doing the arcade, mm -hmm. I think that was the very first time I played Contra Arcade. Now for you, Contra Arcade, when did you play that? <clears throat> I was not aware that Contra Arcade was ever out. My Same thing with Super Contra, right? Because they did do a follow-up. 
never knew. On the arcade as well. Super yeah. Contra. And I never played that one either. Guys, elementary is my happiness with my twin brother and my friends around that. I just never saw it at the arcade, even when we went to the arcades. You, I don't remember you ever see seeing... Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, you I, would I never see remember seeing Contra. Splatterhouse. You would see, you know, Double Dragon. Oh, yeah, Double Dragon I you had know? seen at the arcade before. You know, I never... But you're right. Not unless... Contra, I just don't remember seeing. I mean, did you guys... I mean, leave a comment below. Let us know. Yeah. I, I never saw either one of those games. Neither did I. At the arcades. Now, Contra, the original one that we played on the NES, that one is the one when someone says Contra, that's the game I remember. Because, okay, Nintendo Power issue number one is when I learned about Contra. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I had all my other elementary friends that were Nintendo fans, just like me. They were like, hey, play this game. And I'm like, what is this? Oh, can I borrow a game? Okay, it could be RC Prime, or it could be Kung Fu, or it could be Turtles, whatever I had at that time. We would swap the games, like I mentioned earlier, and then I would try it out. And my, my brother and I, we loved it. I can't say it's a simple game, so if you play with the lives they give you, which I think you start off with three, three lives, it's pretty difficult, but once you do use the Konami code, you and a friend, your brother, whoever's with you, mm -hmm. you know, can go through the game pretty quick and have yes. a great time, and it's it's a quick play, but it's so much fun. Yes. So, so what was your favorite stage on that game? Do you recall? The last stage. Okay, with the heart, the the, the last stage, and it's only because with of the, the scorpions. Well, yeah, but, out. but it's because of the music. Yeah. And then the boss looks almost like like the movie Aliens. I yes. mean, that's what it reminded me of. And then once you beat it, you still have to continue. Yes. Just to get to the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the ending hits, and it has that cool ending music. Yes. And it's not a like a heroic. Yeah, it's not like a great ending, but it was a. It was like yes, I beat the game. Animated. You know? Yeah, I thought it was neat. Cin cinematic. You're right. Yeah. It's not like overly done. It's yeah. it's pretty simple, but it's fun. With memorable bosses. Yeah. Like and, our and all the stages are fun. All the music was great. Yeah. My second favorite is the, the snow level. Yeah. I can't remember which one that is. Is that like level five or something like Around that? Around that, yeah. It, well, memory serves me right. It's closer to the end. I really like the stages that Konami had created for Contra. Like I remember, you know, the second level. Everybody knows about the first stage, but the second level is like. There's like um, ele electrical. Yeah. Oh, and it takes you through. Yes, like a, and you like have to go a, straight. Like a back, like from the back view. Yes. Third person. That almost. was pretty cool. Yeah, that was something. That was awesome. New, right? Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. That was something new, and that was. And then the cool. waterfall stage, which was considered one of the hardest stages. For that some. one is a tough one if you're playing with two players. Yes, and, and three lives. Yeah, especially. not thirty, not thirty lives, guys, but three lives. Yeah, three lives. You. You die pretty quick, yeah. especially if y'all don't stay together. Yeah, somebody dies, right? It's, it's exactly. Just, so it's um, it's a fun game. Yeah, still. and, and you but guys, with the Konami code. Yes, but you guys could tell that the love that we had for Contra, that we we have a lot of great memories. Oh, me personally speaking, of the very first game. Honestly, this game Contra, I will play it so many times in my life because it was just worth playing. Now, when Super C came out, yeah, did you play that quite a bit? I rented it. All I did was rent it. Also. I rented it, but yeah. it wasn't the same as the first game. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not. I played it all the way through. What's your opinion on that? It's not as memorable to me as the first game. Yeah. But I did quite enjoy it. and But it was bad enough to where like my we rented it, my, my dad played it. It didn't hit him the same like the first game, so he never bought it. We just rented it for that weekend. Found the other code. There's a code for that one, but it's not 30 lives okay. on that one. I think it's like, what, 15? Possibly so. Something like that. I know it's not 30. Yeah, I got it. Or the uh, code's even different. I can't remember. That's what I mean. It's not that memorable. Yeah. Like, I can't even remember what the code <laughs> was, you know? But then you go on to Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Super Nintendo. This is like when everything had changed, and now you had this. And then that one also took the levels yeah. between the side scrolling mm -hmm. to a different level, right? Yes. Now you were from a top view. And if you're two players, you could start at different locations. And the screen would move. And you know, they were trying to show all the new the new ways that they could use the hardware. And that one was fun, man. I love that game. That's such a fun game, but it's so difficult. I have a lot of great memories on that because I'm getting I was getting older. I was a teenager, right? We're getting older. Unfortunately, yes, to show our age, we were... We're getting older, right? But remembering uh, swapping weapons. Left and right, what does the character do? 
I always thought that was cool. That, what was it? The first stage where you get to that one spot and you can both, y'all could both stand like that. Yeah. And the plane would come by. It would like basically drop bombs, yes. right? And then it, you would have the flames underneath you, and then you'd finish the rest of the stage. Wasn't that so impressive? It was. Come on, guys. It was for that time. Come on, it was just. But the game itself is so tough. It was. So now it shows uh, Operation C. Now that was on the Game Boy. I never got a chance to play that one, so I don't know if you have. Sorry, guys. That's not me. So that, that'll be one I'll have to check out on here. I know it came out. I mean, that's going back pretty far on the Game Boy. I don't remember ever playing that one though. And then Contra Hard Corps. Did you ever play it back in the day? I did. Again, I would rent games, guys. I would not purchase them because at that time I didn't have any money. I thought that that Contra was decent, but it was cheating. So the so, enemies were like make it difficult for you not to beat the game. Oh okay. Like so the AI was bad, like really tough. I thought I mean at that time I, I remember I was like, you know what? If this is too hard for me, I'm gonna stop. Not like Contra 3. Contra 3 was more reasonable and I don't know if they had the title of that, like to make it more difficult. So I played this later. Yeah. Like once I got older. It's hard guys. I played it. Yes, it's tough. What I did notice, if you take your time, even doing that, the graphics, I guess the blast processing, you know, that the Sega Genesis has, those explosions are so bad that you don't see a bullet coming at you. Okay. Or something else, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Because there's so much going on on the screen, it makes it very difficult yeah. to see anything else. Because the graphics are really good, mm -hmm. I'll give it that. But it, yeah, it is a tough game. Yeah, I replayed it on the Switch, purchasing the collection digitally, and believe me, after 15 minutes of trying to trying to focus on beating the game, or, or you know, going further, I just couldn't do it. But then you have Pro Protector and Super Pro Protector, Alien Rebels. Now, one game that I find odd that's missing from this is Contra Force for the NES. Okay. Okay, so Contra Force, Billy, you are correct. It came on 1992. Yeah, it's way late in the NES life. So the graphics are pretty good because it is towards the end of the life cycle. You know, your developers already know how the hardware works. They can push it to its limits. With that game, it does that, but it's not a great game in my opinion. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I should try and play it again, but I didn't enjoy it as much as like the other two. And it's a very, very expensive game if you can find it. So is Contra Force Contra 3 or Contra 4 or? I don't know. In the series, Chronologically, I have no idea where okay, it goes. Okay, gotcha. Um, I figured it was part of the NES titles. Yeah. But then when you played Contra 3 Alien Wars, that's the third Contra. Because Contra 3 came out February 28, 92. So maybe that's Con Contra Forces number four. Maybe. So yeah, um, Billy, this presentation is impressive. We did a wonderful job caring about more accessories and more items for the buyer to be pleased. What do you think about this set versus like say the Castlevania anniversary? I think the Castlevania and the Contra, I think it's a coin flip. Coin flip? Doesn't matter, they're both great. I mean, th the titles themselves, yes. These collections, oh man. Maybe this could be a little bit much more it has a lot more Care? yeah it has a lot more items i mean we had some of you guys in the comments say that um it was just like all cardboard you know basically is what i paid for which it kind of did seem like that you know the, i mean the biggest thing that was great about that set was the book oh uh, yes that hangable the, artwork yes that the, looked 3d they had that played the music i thought that was really cool i wish they had that here i thought they were gonna with do one with this but they didn't Contra one that would have been amazing yeah instead it was this yeah I don't know, I guess like you said, it's a flip of the coin. If you don't get this set, obviously this has already been sold out. I'm sorry I didn't buy a second one to do a giveaway. I only got the one, but it was mainly because I wanted it. Like I didn't expect anyone to really want that other set that I got, but we did get a lot of people wanting that giveaway. Sorry I didn't do that on this one. This is the Contra Anniversary Collection from Limited Run Games. And this is everything you see. I mean, I think it was worth it it could have been a little cheaper obviously it always could be a little cheaper but I'm, I'm happy with what I got I think it's really cool set I agree thank you Billy for um, taking the time to unbox this and I hope that everybody enjoyed this presentation yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys think did you like this set better than the Castlevania anniversary collection is this something you would have been interested in purchasing I guess just let us know in the comments below mm -hmm. what you think and I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Take Later. Care,